On today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna talk about how to sand correctly. Uh, do we have an intro yet? No, okay, normally we'd run an intro, we're working on it, so let's come on into the bench, throw two minutes on the clock, and talk about some sanding. Now, when you talk about sanding, people always say you wanna work up the grits, and there is a really important reason for that, but first, Let's talk about what I normally use. These are a bunch of different brands of sandpaper. I'm actually working on some tests on these new mesh sandpaper screens. And I'm gonna have a video in a couple of weeks where we talk about the best ones of those. Um, these are some of the sandpapers I have, 60 through 320. However, for most projects, uh, I don't start with 60 and I don't go all the way up to 240 or 320. 60 removes too much material and there's just no point on anything past 220. And a lot of times if I'm using finishes that re-wet themselves like lacquer, the lacquer in the new coat bonds and re-wets the coat below it, um, I won't even use 220. There is a very specific reason why you work through the grits. Now, when you look at the grits, they basically look sort of like this. This is 80, very deep, takes off a lot of material all the way up to 220, which is very small. Um, and the reason you wouldn't just go from 80 to 220, let's say, is because the amount of time it's gonna take to remove the scratches from the 80 with 220 is 20 times longer than it would be to just go 80, 120, 150, 180, and then 220 because the, grit, the next grit up is gonna have a much easier time removing the scratches. 80 is gonna be the process that takes you the longest um, and as you go up the grits, it's gonna go quicker and quicker. And the way that you can tell the speed and quickness which you should be going is you use a pencil. So with each grit, you're gonna put new pencil. I suggest using a 0.5 millimeter. Sometimes the thicker pencils will, the graphite will sort of break apart and stain your wood. So I use a 0.5 pencil and I just put pencil on my piece. And when you sand, you wanna go about an inch a second. So I count in my head, I go, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and you just go until you remove the pencil. You don't go back over areas with no pencil on it. That's gonna show you where the low spots are, and once it's gone, you can move up to the next grit, so it's very easy. When it comes to selecting sandpaper, usually the better the sandpaper, the longer it's gonna last, the less it's gonna clog. There's lots of stuff out there, and honestly, the only time I've ever seen a difference are these new mesh discs, which uh, like I said earlier, we're gonna have a video coming out here in a week. So sandpaper, it just gets the job done. When you sand correctly, it really makes a difference. And if you use this pencil, it keeps everything flat. And uh, I know some of you, especially when you're beginning, have had an experience where one area will sort of get lower than the other or pieces that used to fit together are now super loose. So if you use this pencil trick, it makes things a lot easier. I have an in-depth, longer video on this where I actually sand, be linked up here in the corner. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I kept it under two minutes. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.